Maybe. Okay. I, I, you roll over, I'm gonna pop you, dude. Okay, I just, uh, was just on, uh, Instagram, and, I uh, was, kinda did my unboxing. Over there, if you wanna go over to my Instagram, and, uh, watch me unbox these, you're more than welcome. It's, uh, beans underscore blades. Both of these, I've never had a Chris Reed before. These are the nicest presentation I've ever seen. Like, not, no, no contest, dude. I can't wait to, like, go through all that, man. That's just so amazing. So amazing, dude. Um, one of the uh, terms that I live by, if you want to call it that, is uh, you get what you pay for. And uh, if you buy a... If you ever get the chance to have a Chris Reeves, I did not buy these. I traded to get those. Uh, if you ever have the chance to get a Chris Reeves, there's a reason they're uh, so popular. So anyway, let's check them out. Oh, phew. these are both so sick, dude. So this one is the Nkosi. This one was a user. Um... The dude that I got this from carried and used it. Um, and so really it's not in bad shape, uh, all things considered. Um, I'm curious if you can replace the inlays. Look at that beautiful crown spine. Oh, it's messing with the light. Doesn't like that light. Um, it's the black micarta. And this thing uh, is in pretty pretty decent shape. Hasn't been dropped that I can see. So um, this is the Tonto. Um, like I said, this was a user, so I'm able to flick it open pretty easy. Um, beautiful hollow grind Tonto. I love the uh, fat bevel. On the Tontos of Chris Reeves. I can kind of tell the use on the tip. You can see it's not, it's got a little tiny nick on it, but that can be fixed. That can be uh, sharpened right up. Oh, let's watch the lockup. Chris Reeves were known for their bank vault. Look at that. That is such a big, thick piece of tie, dude. That's awesome. Gorgeous. This is a first for me. Uh, notice, too, how the um, relief is on the inside. Uh, that's pretty rare. Not a lot of people do that. Uh, most relief is, um, on the outside for a frame lock. So, I had a knife once, it was a solid steelworks guillotine. That's an interesting knife right there, a big, huge knife. It had, uh, the same sort of situation. Alright, let's check out the Unenzan. This Unenzan is, uh, like new. From what I can tell. Alright, I just had to pause it to look. I was looking at that pivot and I was like, is that stripped out? Um, it's not stripped. It's just... Um, I don't know how to explain it. That is amazing machinery. <laughs> That's all I can say. That is very impressive. They did that on both sides. It's rounded at the top, but then it goes down into a, uh, looks like probably a, let's say T10 at least. I'm not sure. I'll check it out later. Um, same thing with the relief. Um, clip I'm not crazy about. I probably will end up uh, replacing that clip. You can see the texture on here. Look at that. Like a sandy texture nice thick 
titanium slabs. Amazing. Kind of sideways fraggy. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. That grind is just breathtaking. That's so awesome. Yep, John, if you're watching this, dude, I don't know that I'm going to be able to give this one up. This is really... Jesus, look at that. That is intense. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty much like a fixed blade. That is not coming down. <laughs> They've even got a nice uh, over-travel stop protection all right there you have it um, anybody seeing this wants to trade for this one I will consider trades so just putting that out there I want McNeese anybody has a McNeese I'm in need of a McNeese oh you want to see uh my Groot He's not growing on his beard or his mullet. I gave him a mullet. It's not growing. Alright, that's all for now.